my metabolism slowed down. What can I do? How often do you hear this question? Now in today's video, we're gonna discuss about the metabolism. What exactly is the metabolism? Does it really slow down? Can we actually increase it afterwards if it really slowed down? Very often we hear people saying this affirmation that previously when they were younger, they were having higher burn rate. They were burning more calories easier. They were not sticking the fat as easy as it happens right now. They also say that it's way easier now for them to gain fat. Whatever they eat, if they excess a little bit, they immediately feel that they gain weight. Is it really true? Is it really the reason that they gain extra fat because their metabolism slowed down? And if it is, let's see what can we do about it. First things first, I would like to compare the period. Let's say the youth and the adulthood. What were we doing when we were young? We were very active all day long. We were running, we were playing, we were not staying in one place, at least me. It means that we were burning a lot of calories. And on top of that, we were not eating that much. Again, I will give you my example. I was not eating too much, probably let's say two decent meal, a, meals a day, but that was it. Now let's flip it and let's see the adulthood. Let's see how we are living right now. Majority of the people, they get into their car, they drive to work, they sit on the office for nine hours. At home, they sit on the couch. They don't do much. They don't move, they don't exercise. And on top of this, we have a nutrition that's not ideal. We have high processed food, we have sugars, we have high fats. So the caloric intake is high. So probably if you click this video, you're in a situation that you think that your metabolism slowed down. Just try to compare your youth to your period right now. How active were you before? What you were eating? How much you were eating when you were younger? And how much you exercise and you move and you eat now? Just try to compare. Now to answer your question and to be clear about it, yes, the metabolism can slow down. Yes, maybe in your situation, the metabolism did slow down, but let's explain first in more details what exactly is this metabolism. To make it simple, the metabolism is the balance between anabolism and catabolism. The anabolism is the process in which the new cells are created, for example, it can be fat cells or it can be muscle cells, but the process of gaining, we are gaining. Catabolism on the other side is the process of losing. It's losing cells, it's losing fat, losing water, using, losing even uh, muscle mass. So when we are saying that we have a slower metabolism, what we mean is that the balance is inclined towards the anabolism side, which means that we are gaining more. Now again, usually we gain fat, and this is not really what we want. If we are talking about muscle anabolism, that's exactly what we want. But let's break it down further even more. Let's take this graphic right here because it's really good and I love it to explain it and it's, it's so clear. This is the total daily energy expenditure. With this graphic, with these categories right here, we can change our metabolism. So down here, the biggest chunk is the basal metabolic rate. How much the body consumes just to stay alive which means the organs and the muscles. The next big category is the NEAT, the non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Whatever we do, even me now moving my hands and staying up and walking and uh, washing dishes and going up the stairs, all of these activities that are not exercise, all of these are burning calories. So the more we move, the more we burn. The next one between five and 15% is the TEF, which is the thermic effect of food. Now, this means that the more protein we eat, the more whole foods we eat, the body will have to break them down. So it means another process, the digestive process, it's more difficult, let's say, for the body. So it burns calories in order to actually make that process. And the tip of the iceberg right there are the exercises, which means working out with weights, cardio, high intensity stuff. Just to give a clear example with numbers, let's take a 30 year old woman, uh, that weighs uh, 70 kilograms uh, and her basal metabolic rate is around 1300 calories. This means she needs 1300 calories just to survive. The need is not that high, she works in the office, she goes with the car at work, she doesn't move that much, she's sedentary, so probably like two, three hundred calories. Now the nutrition is not too well, she doesn't have high protein, so just put there around 200 calories max. Now on top of this, she might work out a little bit, light workouts, three times per week, she doesn't do much. So she just goes inside the gym and 
do, does a little bit of elliptical. So let's say 200 calories. We are up to 2000 calories so far. This means that for her to maintain her body weight, she has to eat 2000 calories. Her goal being at 70 kilograms, maybe her fat percentage is high, she would like to reduce that. But as you can see, she can only eat 2000 calories to maintain the weight. She has to go maybe to 1600, 1500 to start having results. What this also means is that when she has bad days, when she has cheat days, she can easily go to 3000 calories a day, which puts her easy in a thousand caloric surplus. This means weight gain. Now, if this person in time will manage to actually reverse her metabolism, to increase the metabolism and to put her maintenance calories at 2,500, then if she eats the same amount at 2,000 calories, she will be at 500 calories deficit. So as you can see, the higher the metabolism, the harder it is to be in a caloric surplus, the harder it is to gain weight. On the flip side, the slower the metabolism, the easier it is to gain fat, the easier it is to be in a caloric surplus and the harder it becomes to actually lose the weight. You really go into this rabbit hole. This loop in which you're trying to lose weight, you reduce the calories, you are slowing down your metabolism and you're just going into this loop in which you will never have good results. Now enough negative talk, let's see how we can actually improve the metabolism, how we can speed it and how we can burn more calories. So the biggest chunk, the BMR, is between 50 and 70%. How we can increase that? Because if we manage to increase this, it makes a huge difference. First things first, and the most important thing, it's a crucial thing, and probably ladies, if you're hearing this, you might not agree with me, but it's working out with weights. Please, if you have this mentality of, if I work out with weights, I will become manly, it's not true at all. Please search for fitness models, search for girls, for women that train with weights and you see how good they look, you see how healthy they are. So what we want with the basal metabolic rate and how we can increase it, it's imagine you're increasing your engine. The more muscle you have on your body, the more calories you burn. Why is that? Because the muscle is an active tissue. It needs calories to stay on our body. What you also have to make sure, if you already work out with weights, the intensity has to be high enough. If you're going all the time inside a gym for the past five years and you're using the same weights with the same repetitions, the same exercises, the body has no reason to change. We have to create micro tears in our muscle tissue. We have to give the body a reason to actually grow a new contractile tissue to improve the muscle mass that it has already on the body and the strength as well. If you need help in this journey, I'm happy to announce that I started my online coaching. Now I can help people online as well. Based on a video call, we can talk and I'm gonna do the workout plans for you, the nutrition plan. I'm gonna help you create new habits. The workout plans are customized for you. The exercises are filmed by me inside the gym. I perform the exercises. I also have the mic on and I explain what do you have to do and so on. The nutrition based on a questionnaire, I will create it based on your needs and your goals. So if you're interested, if you need help, just check the description below and you can find me. The next biggest point in our journey to increase the metabolism, it's bumping up the NEAT. Now, as I said, the NEAT is the non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Whatever we do besides the workout, besides the, besides the exercise, which means walking, washing dishes, going up the stairs, doing groceries and so on. So I want you to look in your daily schedule and ask yourself, what can I do to actually increase my step count? What can I do to be more active? If you have a smartwatch or a whatever brand that counts your steps, wear it and you're gonna see this way exactly how many steps you have. Ideal, I would recommend hitting 10,000 steps a day. If possible more, go for it. Can you walk or can you go by bike instead of taking the car to work or to school or wherever? Can you not take the elevator and take the stairs? When you're doing groceries, maybe you can just go by foot or if not possible, just park a little bit further and walk. Try every day to see a little bit what can you do to improve this step. Now, the next two points, not only they will burn calories, but they will also help us improve and raise and increase the basal metabolic rate. First one, the thermic effect of food, which means, like I said, the more protein you eat, the more the body has to digest and to break down that protein. So 
it will lose calories in this process. What the protein does, also it helps us to build the muscle mass. It will break down into amino acids and the body will recreate new contractile tissue with the help of those amino acids, which leads to higher basal metabolic rate. Another reason the protein is very important, it gives you satiety and also another crucial point, it's lowering down the glycemic index of your carbs when you are eating them together. And the last one, which is the tip of the iceberg and also very important, that will help us obviously build more muscle mass and increase the BMR is exercising with weights and cardio as well. But most important, the foundation should be the weights workout. So working out with weights, increasing the intensity, having a progressive overload, getting stronger, putting more muscle mass, this will all lead to higher BMR and higher metabolism. On top of this, if you want to lose weight easier, then you can introduce cardio as well, depending on your situation, depending where you are. If you're having the fat percentage too high, then definitely you have to introduce cardio as well. And the graphic goes higher and higher, the metabolism is higher, and then the caloric deficit, the gap is bigger. Therefore, it's easier for you to lose fat. As you can see, the metabolism can be transformed, the metabolism can be improved. This doesn't mean that the more you age, it's irreversible. This is not true at all. You can improve it, you can speed it up, you can accelerate your metabolism again, and you can achieve your dream physique. You can take this graphic and do a screenshot and uh, share it to people or share this video. And I guess it's easy for them to understand, to your friends, if you have some friends in this situation, it's easy to understand how they can actually increase the metabolism. And it's doable. I have clients inside the gym that are 40 plus, actually even 50 plus. I have clients that are 58, 56, 50. So it's possible with them, I saw it. I can put videos with them here, how they train. It's doable, they already increased their metabolism and I know you can do it as well. If you want to see other videos of mine, you can check them up here about nutrition, working out and so on. Again, if you need my help with coaching, find the link in the description below and we can get in touch, we can have a video call. Guys, thank you once again for watching. I really hope this video helped and made it clear about the metabolism. Uh, don't be disappointed, it can be reversed if you think your metabolism slowed down. You can reach your dream physique. Guys, thank you once again for watching and see you next time. Ciao.